Okay. What's up, everybody? This is the Game Virus, also known as the G G G G G G Virus, and we are back with more. J uh, James looks like he's just like, oh, hurry up with your intro, please. And we are back with more. Let's play Silent Hill 2 Blind. In the last episode, we uh, did some investigating. We ran the streets of Silent Hill, avoiding enemies. We still haven't been attacked by an enemy yet. Believe it or not, we still haven't taken any damage. We still have yet to be touched. But we examined the area, got lost, made some additions to our map as far as where we can and can't go. Well... This is a different map. This is the inside of this place, but we X'd out places. We found routes to other places. We found keys and save points. And we, we ultimately got led to this place. This is an apartment building, I believe. And yeah, it's a very creepy area. It's very unnerving because it's so damn dark. And the music is getting scary. And you can just tell there's going to be shit popping out and scaring you. And I don't like it. We found a gun that we couldn't take, which sucks. And, uh, yeah, I forget where I was at before when I was looking around. Mm. I hate the camera angles, the way the camera's positioned always behind you and shit like that. Sometimes it's in front of you when you go into a room. You can hear enemies walking around, but you can't really see where they're at. It's just a whole lot of unsettling shit. Uh, I don't recall if I investigated this area last... Before I came here, I remember one of these areas, the door right here, or oh shit, no, the door upstairs was like a dead end, I think it was here, I couldn't really do anything here, I believe that door led to the gun, or not, I think I hear something moving around, a lot of the locks are broken, stuff I'm very familiar with, we had to deal with a lot of that in the first Silent Hill, locks being broken, or shit, just... For whatever reason, we couldn't go into places. Uh! Okay. Alright. For whatever reason, we couldn't go into places. Uh. And later on, we could. The music is very good. Very unsettling and creepy. Oh, and then it goes away. Oh, never mind. Came right back. Playing with me. Making me think it's gonna go away. Much like the first one, we haven't encountered too many people. We encountered that one Nev Campbell look-alike in the cemetery. We haven't seen anybody else. Not a lot of story, not a lot of talking about what the fuck you say. The television. There's nothing unusual about it. <clears throat> what do you say? Uh, same shit. It's broken. I don't know how I keep skipping the text somehow. I only push it once. Oh shit. Milked? Uh, what does that say? Can't really make it out. The souls, the seats from the past. Something, I can't make it out. I'm just making sure this place is clear before I start investigating shit. I don't like that, man. James got completely off screen before the camera changed. If there was an enemy there, I would have got fucked up. What does it say? Henry Mildred Scott. Uh, that's creepy. A large clock. It's too dark to see it well. Mm. Well, a lot of things are too dark. Hey, hey, I keep on wanting to call this guy Harry. James can't make out stuff. He can't fuck with the clock. He can't pick up the gun. We found a gun last episode. He can't do much of anything. Except listen to scary music and get scared. <sighs> music picks up when I get when I got close to that closet. Look at that. Did it again. It's fucking creepy, man. The music is very scary in this game, but I will say this the music is far scarier than it was in the first game. What the fuck, dude? Yeah, we already checked it, but I was wondering. Something's alive again? Ah, 
I don't want to kill some shit again. Ugh. I think this is where the gun was. No. Oh! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> oh! Oh! What's that? It's like something glowing in the background. What is that? This game. That's a pretty cool camera angle. Look at that. That would be a great thumbnail for the video. I think I might take the thumbnails from this video straight from the game. It's gonna be a pain in the ass finding thumbnails for this. These videos, because there's not a lot of cutscenes. Block that shit. I can block the shine with my... That's cool. Okay, I can block the shine from the gem with my weapon. I need a damn flashlight. It's fucking creepy. I don't like how you can completely vanish from the screen before it switches, man. Something could be there, and it could totally bust me up. Ah! This is horrible. It's so damn dark. God, I need a flashlight. They're, they're, they're fucking with you. They're making you want a flashlight so bad. Because they could so get the jump on me with how dark this game is. All right, I'm picking this up, whatever it is. Oh, there we go. That's what that was. I got a flashlight. <laughs> Fuck, what is that? What is that? Oh, shit. It's not fighting back, and I don't care. Oh, that was scary, dude. There's some good jump scares in this game. Like I said last video, if you've been keeping track with my videos and what I'm saying, I, I should have known that, you know? Whenever you get a very important item, a key item, in a creepy room, there's always something that's gonna jump up and try to fuck with you. A sewing machine, there's nothing special about it. Hey, James is moving around while that text was up there. Which means the game still is going on, even though you have text prompts at the bottom of the screen. Even when you're investigating shit, you could still get fucked up. Yep, circle still turns off the, uh, the flashlight. Oh, man, the enemies are definitely creepier. There's nothing that looks of any use. So now we can fucking see. Well... I thought it was like, just a mannequin, but these clothes, what about them? It must be something his dead wife wore, or dead lover. I'm just gonna call her a lover, cause I don't know. <sighs> Shit! I hate that the camera angles do that, man. I a split second before they change. I can't get the door open. Oh shit, look at that, look at that. It's not even moving, it's just, you just know it's there because you can see it far off in the distance. It's got legs for an upper body. Shit. Hit it, you idiot! Hit it! I'm about to get fucked up. Ah! First time taking damage right there. Man. It is hard to hit shit. Look at this. Look at this shit. I can't hit him. It's like you gotta wait for him to get into the... Melee still sucks. Let me see if I can check my health. I don't even check my health. There's nothing that indicates my health. It just shows you a shot of where you last left the game. 
where you where you where you currently are instead of showing you your health. I guess it'll show on him, like he'll be hurting or holding himself or something. I need to go get that gun. I got handgun bullets, but I don't have the handgun. Fuck you! Ooh, ooh, okay. That 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 the little lens flare from the flashlight scared me. I thought it was something. Yeah, I'll take the static camera angles over this shit any day. And I, got, and I know they're doing it on purpose where the camera is like positioned in front of you when you walk right into a new area. But I don't fucking like it. And then like when you if 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 the arrow if the area is too narrow and not enough and there's not a lot of room, you can't swing the camera behind you unless you make room like because the wall's there. See, I can't swing it behind me and see what's in front of me unless I move forward a bit and give myself some room. Now I can. Well, if there was an enemy right there secretly waiting to smack me upside my head, the second I move forward, I move closer to it and I get smacked upside the head. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Fucking swing it! <laughs> oh, this is horrible! Even when you hit it, it's scary. Well, they don't really put up much of a fight, man. I feel like I should have got fucked up just now. And my radio's a piece of shit. Should have alerted me that something was there much sooner. The radio is as good as me. As soon as it's in my face, I know it's there. It's bullshit. Don't think it should work that way. There's a newspaper on the ground. Well, there's nothing interesting written in it. Really? No interesting current events going on in there? Nothing to your liking, James. Hold on real quick. His name is James, right? Have I been calling him James and his name's not James? Yeah, it's James. Sunderlands. God. Forgot about his crappy last name. No offense to anybody who's actually named Sunderlands. I've just never encountered anyone with that name. But this shit. So this is where you were. You were just hanging out in here, huh? That's creepy. Man, there's too many enemies in here. Alright, nothing in here. Did I check that area out already? I checked this out already, didn't I? Or did I? Fuck. His breathing scared me. Yeah, I checked this out already, right? Maybe not. It doesn't seem like there's anything in here, any. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Fuck. Fuck these apartments, man. I want to go back to the streets. The streets are far less horrifying than this place, man. Which has got me kind of scared about what's to come, man. I wonder if this game has that reverse alternate reality. Like, shit's already fucked up and horrible as is. Or this motherfucker just run at me. Look at Fucking terrible. The fact, the fact that they're not really putting up much of a fight is kind of scary in itself. You know, I'm just waiting for that time where they get really aggressive on me. It's gonna startle the shit out of me. I know it. Fuck. I want to take them out before they start squirming around like that. It gives me the goosebumps. Man, he took the fuck off. Look at that. He's just gone. Just gone. Look at that. Took off. Fucking frightening. 
It's trying to get turned around now. I probably went in here already. Okay, they want me to go where that thing is circled. Is that because that's where my gun is? Or, or what? And so there's rooms over there I have not gone into. Oh, boy. Have I gone into here yet? Can't tell. Yes, I have. It's a dead body. Yeah, this is where I got my flashlight. Okay. It's quiet. All right, which way am I going? Straight down the hallway. Great. Heads up! It's funny, the, 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 the static stops after I dropped him, but he was still alive because I was hitting him. Which makes, all, makes the radio pretty fucking useless in my eyes. Just a normal washing machine, there's nothing of interest. Oh, God. Uh. Did I go in here? I don't think so. Let me go back in here. Enemies respawn. That sucks. It's fucked up, man. I'm trying to get that damn gun. Good. I'm glad it's locked. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go get that damn gun already. This game will probably be way more stingy with bullets than the last game was. The last game gave you a lot of bullets. But been in here for a long time. What the fuck is that? Oh. I forgot music starts up when you get to this door. I don't know why. But then again, music would start up in the first one for no fucking reason at all. And scare the living crap out of me. So, I guess that shit's just continuing. I think the gun is in 301. That's like the only room I went in over here. What are you looking at, man? Cut that shit out. Fucker. This hallway is dark as shit. Get this gun. You already know there's gonna be something in here now. Now that I have the flashlight. It what? What? It's a shopping cart. What is that doing here? Who gives a fuck? It had a gun on it, man. That's all you need to know. Yeah, when I when I get unsettled and nervous, I get mean. Uh, handgun. Full clip holds 10 bullets. Light handgun, not much stopping power, but easy to use. So I just heard a noise in my room. In case you were wondering, I've been playing this game at night. Which is the ideal way to play it. It's good that I'm playing it this time of year, because it gets dark earlier. It's like 20 rounds, I got 30. 
E equip that. I don't give a fuck, guys. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start shooting now. I don't care. Let's see. Uh, he holds it much like Harry held his gun in the first game. The wall is what? The wall is pock pockmarked with gunshots. Yeah, some shit went down in there. <sighs> Alright, man. I think that's it. I can't investigate anywhere else here. So, I don't have any key. There was something about trash blocking something off. But, I can't do anything about that. This is still locked, correct? Yeah, so nothing I could do anymore. Oh shit. What? I don't even know what I'm doing. I ain't read any of that. Something's gonna grab my arm. Something's gonna. Oh, that's fucked up. Jerk. Hey, wait. Damn it. I can't reach it, no matter how far I stretch. But who's that kid? It's messed up. Did I mention I don't like kids? That doesn't help me change my mind at all. <clears throat> Music is creeping me out. I will, I will shoot the shit out of you if you try to pop up and fuck with me right now. I promise you that. All right, guys, man. Uh, still in this place. Is anything highlighted? What? I don't have anything on me that will allow me to move the trash out of the way. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna take one last look at that area that was circled with the trash, see if I can figure out what to do. Maybe I need to shoot it. I doubt it. That makes no sense, but you never know. It's right to my James is right. <sighs> Maybe I can see better now that I have my flashlight or something. I can see what it actually is. There's a trash chute. There's some kind of strange garbage. Yep. Still can't do anything about it. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe I can do something from the outside now. Guess there was. Ugh. I think there was a garbage chute out there. I think. Maybe that might have been another area. Either way, I'm going to check out the outside. If I don't find anything, I'm going to save immediately. Either way, I'm about to save. Garbage, no use for nothing. Yep, can't do shit. Oh, 
wonder why that save point is circled. Might check that out. Off camera, though. Let's see if this other door is open. Maybe it's open now. That would happen in the old game. Shit, that was locked. It's all of a sudden magically unlocked. Nope. Alright, guys, let's get a dirt for this episode. Don't know what to do. Off camera, I'm gonna probably check out that save point and maybe there's an item there I can get. Maybe a lighter or something. I could burn the garbage. Did I ever check shit out over here? Yep, it's just a dead end. Nothing to it. Alright, well, I'm gonna save and, uh. Uh, next episode, I guarantee we're going to be done with this place. I'll figure it out. But, uh, thank you for watching. If you want more, or if you like the video, feel free to like it. And if you want more, feel free to subscribe and check out other survival horror playthroughs. Check out Silent Hill 1. This is the game virus. Thanks for watching. Later.